Welcome back to my channel, my fish and I. Today's topic is gonna be filtration system in your aquarium. I remember when I started, I had a very difficult time trying to dial in my filtration system, and sometimes it could get very frustrating for a beginner aquarist. Filtration is one of the main components of establishing a balanced aquarium. So as you can see, I'm going to give you some tips of how to choose the right filtration system for you. I'm just going to go, I have every single type of filtration system in my tanks. I have sponge filters, hand on the back filters, canister filters, plants, some. So I'm just going to share my experience regarding to each filtration system and hopefully make it easier for you when you're starting a new aquarium because sometimes it could get real expensive if you don't know what's best filtration system you need in your system. Starting off, almost all my large tanks I have two filters on them the reason why i do so is is to help with maintenance so what i usually do i clean one every three months and i clean the other and the opposite month from that so we can build back the biological bacteria in the system so my system never crash i never clean both filter at the same time so a lot of people have um, bacteria bloom because they kill off most of their beneficial bacteria or they overpopulate their tanks with more fish in the system filtration can keep up with the changing and if their tank go off balance. So in this video, I'm just going to showcase the different type of filtration systems I have on some of my tanks. So. Let's get into the topic. This tank is my baby um, tank. So on all my fry tanks, I use sponge filters. So as so, sponge filters is good for fry tanks because it allow the baby not to get sucked up or get killed by the filter. In my shrimp tank and guppy tank, I also use a front, um, sponge filter. And I see in this tank, I was just showing the hang on the back filter um, on this tank. This tank has two type of filters, a hang on the back and a canister filter. And the bio load is very small in that tank. Coming back to my guppy tank, as you can see, I have sponge filters and lots of plants. I hardly even do water change in this tank because the plants absorb so much um, waste products in the tank to make my water pristine and it does its job. So in my smaller tanks you'll notice that I either have lots of plants and a sponge filter or no filter. Um, I have one tank that I haven't did a water change in probably in five years, but it's loaded with plants and I just top it off every so often from evaporation. And what make it even special is because it's by a window and in it, it has no algae. So stay tuned, you'll see that as well. In this tank, I have some plants. And I have a hang on the back filter. And this next, my next um, guppy, snail, and shrimp tank. And all I have is some plants and some sponge filters. And it keeps the water crystal clear. And it keeps everything balanced in this tank. Moving on, I can see the fishes are happy, healthy. No disease, no dropsies in the guppy and we'll move on 
This is one of my next planted aquarium. I have a canister filter in it and also um, two sponge filters. So the sponge filters are very good in aerating the water because they have some trophies and they light the water very oxygenated. In this tank I have two um, canister filters on it and you can see the water is crystal clear. So it depends on your system. So this tank now is a tank that I have no filter and I haven't did any water change in a very long time. I just top it off. And it's by a window, no algaes. It has guppies and shrimps in it. And for, as I said, like for five years, I did no water change. Just top it off. And it's crystal clear. Um, it's by a window and no algae. As you can see, the plants are growing rapidly by the window. These are roots going to wrap it if I take a like a video of the whole room is actually the pato spreads all over the, the room all I do is just feed and leave so you can have once you establish a nice balance fish keeping is simple but a lot of people trying to sell you products to make money so in this tank all these tanks in my living room they have Two canister filters. Some, even though they have plants, to help with the filtration system and they keep it nice and balanced and stable. And that's what it is. Even my hang on the back um, filters, I usually just remove the cartridges and throw them in the garbage and and change it to put some sponges in it or some lava rocks to make biological filtration system with it. I feel like it works better. And then you don't have to go keep buying those cartridges. For my large 250 gallon, I have a sump. Whole bottom is the sump. In the first compartment, I have filter floss, lots of sponges. In the next compartment, I have bio balls. The next compartment lava rock the next compartment I have some filter floss and um, some plants I usually have some anubia some petals some java ferns and even shrimp is living in the sump it keeps the plants very clean so according to what system you have the key is just to create a balance once you have a balance in the aquarium everything is good to go i hope that helps and i hope that give you some example and show you and make help you decide what filtration system that's right for you in your tank thank you